Hello friends. Hello friends. Today I'll explain how to do expand and collapse option in DevX space using layout control. Now go to the layout control. Select it and place it in the form. And dock it. I'll dock it to the top. Now place the control. I'll place now. I'll place grid control. And I'll fill it. Okay. Now select the layout control group. See friends, you need to know two things here. Inside layout control, you will be having token okay, buttons. Okay. One is layout control group and one more is layout control item. Okay. To know about that, you select your child control, press one escape, you can see the layout control item here. Okay. And press one more escape, you can see layout control group. And press one more escape, this will be your parent layout control. Okay. So now you need to make changes to the layout control group. Okay, now come down and make changes to the property called X1 button visible to true. So, by making this one and one more change you need to do is group border visible or to true and you can make changes to the header button location that can be after text so here this arrow mark will come after the text so uh, to see the text you can make changes to the text visible okay make it true and text will give us education now if you go to the layout control still you cannot expand and collapse along with the layout control okay now you need to make one more changes select the layout control item this will how we will select this same way what i told you you need to select the child control and press one escape this will be your layout control item now here you need to make changes to the size okay size constraint size constraint can should be custom here okay now come up and make changes to the size okay okay so you need to make changes only to the minimum size not to the maximum size okay so minimum size can be equal to your default size i will give now default size is 82 here it is 82 so I'll give it as 82. Now final change is you. Now also see you cannot expand and collapse along with the layout control. So now you need to do the final changes to the layout control. Layout control will be your parent one. Okay. So now go to auto size. Auto size you need to make it to true. Okay. See friends here you, you can now expand and collapse. The layout okay okay so if you want to make uh, changes to the size come here and make changes to the minimum size minimum size if you want to make it to 150 or 120 that will increase your layout control size okay thank you friends if you like it please subscribe my channel and if you want to see any videos then please put a comment, I will make it and post it. Thank you.